Hey everybody, today I want to talk about Lip Factory. Now, I finally got my May box and it is jam-packed full of goodies. Um, there's a few products in here, well there, there's two products that I already liked, and then there was a product in here that really took me back to when I first started makeup. But let me first tell you about the um, this subscription if you're interested. Lip Factory Incorporate. Uh, Lip Factory INC is a monthly subscription that costs about $21 a month. I think it's $21, $22 a month. And you get products that are usually for the lips but you also get eyes nails face everything so don't let lip factory fool you if you're looking for other items if you'd like to branch out your makeup collection maybe your makeup collection isn't too big you'd like to try their brands um it usually contains like high-end and drugstore so by high-end I mean like different um, internet brands that you may not have heard of that are on the higher spectrum but it's definitely an eclectic mix and if you would like to try new things this is the perfect subscription for you so this month is the lip factory spring has sprung I love the little booklet it always makes me excited and they give you tons and tons of information on the products so you're not left feeling like what do I do with this who is this by where can I get it you do not have to feel lost now um, the total retail this box $68.25 so if you were to buy everything in this box separate that's how much you would pay but since you got it through Lip Factory you only paying $21 so the first product is the NCLA nail wraps and they're $16 they're worth $16 I really love the funky retro design. Um, I've had a positive experience before with the nail wraps. Um, the last time I tried the nail wraps, they were printed a little bit off, but these look like they're printed fine. And with nail wraps, you don't have to worry about the dry of nail polish. You simply peel them and stick them on your nail, and you should get a few days of wear. Um, anything I put on my nail, three days of chips. But um, if you are a little bit gentle and kinder on your nails, you should get extended wear. These are great for doing an accent nail. Like if you are a traditional person, you're like, all right, you know what, I just like painting my nails. These are great for nail art and doing, um, you know, you just want to have an accent nail different. Definitely try those out. And um, it says here, uh, California Dreaming right about now, LA based brand, NCLA brings you a little bit of the West Coast right to your fingertips. Fingertips do your nails instantly. Do your nails instantly with these runway inspired ultra thin super durable nail wraps. No heat lamp, no drying time, no waiting required. All you need is clear polish. Um, yeah, I think you set with clear polish. Try it and you'll have a well designed and polished look to complement any outfit in no time. And then the next product is Medusa's Makeup Eyeshadow. And this is an $8 product. So this product really takes me back. When I first started my makeup journey back in 2006 and I was discovering makeup, this is one of those brands I was on Facebook and I saw a little advertisement on the side and it said, um, tr uh, try Medusa's makeup. And I was like, all right. I had been looking for a really bright yellow eyeshadow. Anyway, tried one of their eyeshadows and I got hooked. I got tons and tons of their eyeshadows, the glitters, the pigments. And that was pretty much all I used in 2006. So really, really, and I kind of like forgot about them as I went through my Mac journey and my my comb journey and my Rimmel London journey. I just completely forgot about them for a while. So I was really happy to see a sample in my box. So um, the packaging has changed. The little boxes have changed uh, since I first had them. This shade is called Midnight Oil, and I'm going to swatch it up for you really quickly. Now this brand is cruelty free, which is fantastic. Um, they have the little bunny symbol. They don't test on animals. And really safe. And this shade, like I said, is Midnight Oil, and it's a really pretty midnight shade. It's a little bit shimmery, really, really pretty. Look at that pigmentation. Ignore the swatch above it, but as you can see, really, really smooth, really, really easy to apply. It maintains the shimmer, which is great. Um, these work best on their own, but you can also apply them over a primer to extend their wear. Don't really have too much creasing with them. Um, don't have too much... Uh, no real, real problems of them wearing off too quickly. Just like I said, if you want to make them last even longer, use them over a primer. And definitely check out their site. They have a lot of great items. The next product is the Perry Beauty Lipstick, which is worth $12. And um, this lipstick is just in a simple black tube. And the shade I got is Current Events. And it's a reddish currenty color. And this shade, I haven't tested it yet, so let's see what the quality is. All right, it's a little sheer. That's two swipes. Three, four, five. So this is the kind of shade you're really going to need to build up if you want opacity. But if you just want a sheer wash of color, this is definitely a great choice. Let's see what it says about it. Can a girl ever have too many lipstick? Oh, no. No, no, no. We don't think so. So let us help you grow your collection. This lipstick from Perry Beauty is not only beautiful and richly pigmented, it's not richly pigmented. No. No, 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 that's wrong. <laughs> but it's enriched with vitamin E to moisturize your lips. Yes, I can see it being moisturizing while also protecting them. Want more? Well, you can get 
they have over 45 different shades. I definitely wouldn't pick up anything from them because I personally don't like anything that's a sheer wash of color like this. But if you like something that's sheer or something you can build up to full opacity, definitely check them out. The next thing is the Mimi Me, Me, Me Cosmetics. And I really like them. I tried them. I believe it was through Lip Factory and I love them. And um, this is the Cosmetics Blush and it's in a box and it's worth $14.25. The packaging kind of reminds me of like, I think it's Benefit or The Balm. Those kind of packaging where the product's in a box, something fancy. So the product comes in a box with the mirror in the box. The brush that comes with it is really cute and it actually says me 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 and then the actual shadow is right here. Uh, let me swatch this up for you. I like that it's a little bit shimmery and the actual shade I got is... Hmm, I don't know if the shade is listed on there. Maybe I'm just missing it. But here we go. Here's the shade. It's really really smooth and um, it's not too dark but I can definitely see this being easy to sheer out if you're a lighter skin tone, but I can see this working great on medium to um, even maybe darker skin tone just because it has that slight little reflective property to it. And last but not least, I was so excited about this, this is another brand that I discovered through Lip Factory, and it's the Tease, T-E-E-Z, Trendy Cosmetics Golden Glow Lip Gloss. And it's worth $18, and I'm, I'm in love with the packaging. I'm like, I'm in love with the packaging. I have um, a mascara by them and a lipstick, and I'm just the packaging. Let me show you this, guys. First of all, this is what the box looks like. And their packaging like reminds me of something like from Urban Decay, but then the actual tubes of the product feature really, really fun designs. So it has the same thing that's on the box. So the shade I got was Desert Fire, and this is a shimmery gloss, and it's got a little brush at the tip. So I'm going to apply it up here. So as you can see, it's quite pigmented. I pressed a little too hard. But you can definitely, it's definitely pigmented. You can definitely wear this as like a stain, but I feel like this would be best over a lipstick or a lip gloss, lipstick or a lip liner if you want this gloss to really look even more pigmented. On its own, it might give you blend it out. It's going to give you a sheer wash of color if you wear it a little bit thicker. It's going to give you, um, it's going to feel a little bit sticky, not sticky, but it's going to feel a little goopy, but it'll definitely be more pigmented. So depending on how you wear it or what you're comfortable with um, on how, you know, how you like your lips, that's how much pigmentation you'll get. If you want the most pigmentation, just put it over a lip liner or over a lipstick and you'll have the full pigmentation. Just choose a color that's close to it. Anyway, guys, if you'd like to sign up for this subscription, I'm going to leave a link below. Thank you so much for watching. What did you guys think about the Lip Factory box? Did you get it this month? Did you like this month? Um, you're not a fan? Let me know what you guys think. And please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.